Okay, so in James 1, 5 and 6, it says, If you need wisdom, ask our generous God, and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. But when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in him alone. Do not waver, for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. I'm going to read 7 too. Such people should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Their loyalty is divided between God and the world, and they are unstable in everything they do. Um, unfortunately, I know many people who are afraid to ask God because I'm not sure, is it right that I ask? Is it wrong that I ask? Let me help clear something up. You can always go to the Father. Always, always, always. No matter where you are in your life or where you are in your faith walk. Once you've made a decision that you want God and you want a relationship with God, you can go to the Father, right? And he will give the answers. He will guide. Now, you have to be in the position to hear. If you have a lot of things going on in your life, a lot of things in your head, if you are waging uh, the voice of God against how you feel and what the world says and what this one thinks and what that one thinks and sometimes even what your church says, you will be confused. You'll be trying to figure it out and you won't get a clear answer. When you want an answer from God, spend time in his presence. Make sure that you got your heart clear and your mind clear and your desire is just to please him and to seek him and to live according to what he says. This becomes problematic for some because we are kind of living our lives based on what we think. Because we feel like following God totally and completely is a little bit outdated. It's never outdated to follow Jesus. Ever, ever, ever. Now, does that mean some of the things that we feel comfortable with in our lives and we've made concessions for and made uh, excuses for and we've uh, been okay with kind of living in sin and kind of not, then you're going to feel uncomfortable asking God certain questions because it means that you have to kind of clean up your life. Basically, it's about living right. Living right and being in the position to hear from God. God loves us. Point blank period. He sent his son to die. We know that for sure. But sometimes when it comes to asking things from God, we get really confused or really shy or we just won't ask. I'll just live in it. You know, if God want me to know, he'll tell me when the scripture is very clear on asking. I've even heard some of you call in and say, well, I'm just waiting on God. If he want me to know, he'll tell me. No, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be open. It's okay to ask God. I'm encouraging you to ask God today for the answers. And I believe that he'll show you, that he'll speak to you. Make sure your heart is right and that your mind is right and that you're ready to receive. All right. That is my faith walk for today.